There's so much programming to keep you poor, to keep you believing that poverty is somehow a virtue and to keep us chasing the wrong things. This is beyond evil. What I'm about to talk to you about is something that I believe is highly important for every human being, especially in the Western world, uh, because most of us have been taught something that is absolutely terrible. Uh, this is my office. I'm showing you this stuff just so you understand who you're dealing with. I'm not, uh, for those of you who are new, if you, if you never worked with me or you don't know who I am, my name is Preston Smiles. And I hope people live their most abundant lives now, regardless of their external circumstances. Um, I come from no money and uh, a lot of love and also a lot of trauma uh, growing up. I was in special needs classes and uh, just went through a lot with a dad who was addicted to drugs and a mom who was extremely stressed out. And I adapted in ways that weren't necessarily helpful. And when I turned 33, I made a decision that I was gonna move back with my mom. I was gonna go all in on myself and on the inner laws of abundance and success. And so what I'm gonna be talking to you about today is how I've put myself in position. Like this is one of four cars that I have, right? This thing, which is absolutely beautiful. That's a, a Stingray, uh, 1965. I have a 68 uh, Chevy C10. 454 big block as well and a g-wagon and all kind of other stuff uh, I'm gonna take you for a little walk on my property. There's four acres here. So uh, This is beyond evil What I want you to hear and understand is that we've been taught a lie We've been told that if we that, 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 that the love of money is the root of all evil. And while I, I see the truth of it, even if you didn't grow up religious, you probably have heard that. That's probably been in your space for a very long time. And uh, by the way, this is still our property. It's three different structures, four acres. I'm gonna take you down here to the creek. Um, even if you didn't grow up hearing that, our society is so steeped in it. There's so much programming to keep you poor, to keep you believing that poverty is somehow a, a virtue and to keep us chasing the wrong things, right? Like I have these toys and these physical things, but I know what's most important and that is my health and my relationship to the most high. I know what's most important and it's making sure that I don't deify any of those physical things. Now, this is still all of our property. Again, I'm just giving you a little tour. Uh, at some point I may walk you up and give you a little house tour as well. Many of us have been programmed to believe and to, to, to that money is the root of all evil while simultaneously being programmed program to chase the next thing to fill us up while being steeped in a soup of scarcity. I think there's statistics about how many people, most, most Western people don't have more than like $500 in their account. And I was one of them not long ago. I can remember pulling up to the gas station with $8 in my account and thinking, okay, well, I can only put $4 in this tank. I can remember having to figure out how to give my dad money so that he can survive and then thinking, how am I gonna do it? But what I wanna remind you is the same thing that I reminded myself is I help nobody by being broken poor. I help nobody by living from scarcity. I help nobody by believing what the, the, the weapon of mass distraction is trying to tell me to believe. It wants me to buy joy Jordans and have Gucci and, and, and think that these outer symbols are the thing. It's like chasing the menu instead of the food. The food is abundance. The food is being tapped into the inner laws of success. And let me hear you, let me tell you this. God can only do for you what it can do through you. And so it, it, if they keep feeding you bullshit, keep feeding you mental bullshit, keep Keep, keep you low, keep your vibration low, then, then, then you can't be a beacon, a vessel, a light for something beyond. You cannot be controlled. As long as we're poor and chasing money, it's gonna run from us. You don't chase dreams, you don't chase money. You chase alignment and when you're in alignment, dreams and money chase you. Too many of us are, 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 are so focused on stuff that does not matter. So I wanna invite you into a few things. Number one, if you decide to be of full service. What is the vision for your life? I'm not saying it can, it can happen overnight, but the decision can, right? Uh, a lot of people say I'm not ready. Well, ready is not a feeling, it's a decision. You can decide now, you can decide now that what is possible for you in this lifetime is that you get to live your, your vision, what's true for you, what's handwritten on your soul. I get that a lot of people, you know, go into 
what's most convenient, right? What's gonna, how can I survive? As long as you're in survival consciousness, that is exactly and only what you can produce. Because remember, spirit, spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. Now I'm gonna take a moment here for any of you who are vibing with this. Number one, right now, drop in the comments, what is something that is handwritten on your soul that either you've been denying, repressing, or just downright ignoring because you, you haven't been in the right mind? I wanna know that, and, and uh, again, guys, you can't, we can't disown that which we've never owned. So a part of the game of manifesting and calling in, the designing, defining and then designing a life that's true for you is by being honest about the bull crap that you've been living from. So right now in the comments, please, please share with me what have you been repressing, denying, and ignoring that has been tapping you on the shoulder for years, months, decades. Big breath. Life is good. You got breath in your body. That is a confirmation from the Most High. You're going to be more than okay. And the fact that you're hearing this video, the fact that you clicked on this video says something about where you're headed. I'm going to head up uh, and go take a nap <laughs> and then do some work um, and play with my kids. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for taking this ride, this journey. If it, this resonated anyway uh, and you want more, click the link below. I have uh, something called the Seven Abundance Activators. This is a free program for you. Just click the link below. We got you. And uh, if it, if it landed, share it with somebody. And if you want to see more content like this, click this video right here or this video right here. I got years of serving. Love you. Appreciate you. Have a beautiful day.